This Grove robot car is a fun way to learn how to code with a Mac with it, because you can program it to do loads of different things when it goes over the different colours. It has a colour sensor on the front to detect the colours, and it just snaps into place with these magnets. To start coding, open the makecode.microbit website and start a new project. There are specific blocks for this robot, so to find them, go to Advanced, Extensions, and then type Bitkit in the search bar. This is the one we want. So now we have a new folder called Bitkit, and I'm going to click on it and select this chassis go forward block and drop it inside the on start block. Now let's add the commands for the different colours. Go to logic and take this if block and drop it inside the forever block. Then go to the bitkit folder and scroll down till we find the colour line follower C colour block and drop that over the word true. I'm going to click this drop down menu and select blue and then when it, the robot sees the colour blue I want it to stop moving so I'm going to go to the bitkit folder and drag over the chassis stop block so that anything that's inside this if block will only happen if it sees the colour blue and I'm going to go to the basic folder and choose this icon block which will show up on the little lights in the front of the micro bit and I'm going to go for this big X because it's like a stop sign. For the next colour, let's go back to the logic folder and add another if block. Make sure to put it under the previous if block, not inside it. And go back to the bitkit folder and scroll down for another colour line follower C colour block and pop it into the true area here and for this one I'm going to make it for red. Now we need to decide what we want to do when it goes over the colour red. I'm going to have a look in the music folder and go for this melody block and I'll go for the entertainer. So I found it's necessary to put a pause block after this Three seconds worked for me, which is 3000 milliseconds. And I'm also going to add a heart. So I'm going to go to the basic folder, get the show icon block, and I can keep it with this picture. There are two more colours that the sensor can recognise, black and green. So I'm going to go to the logic folder and get two more if blocks. And then go to the bitkit folder and get the colour this one i'll keep as black and this one i'm going to change to green so what else do we want the robot to do we could get it to play a musical note by going to the music folder and getting this one play tone block and putting it here and you can change which note it is using the little keyboard here. And we could also get it to write a word using the little lights on the front by going to the basic folder and selecting show string. And then you can change the words here. And so for green, I'm going to get it to go faster. So I'm going to go to the bitkit folder and drag this chassis go forward block into this if folder into this if command and change the speed to fast. If you want any of the commands to stop happening as soon as the robot's finished going over the colour, we can press this plus sign here and it will turn the if block into an if else block. So now if the robot is not going over the colour green, I want it to go slowly. So I'm going to go to the bitkit folder and get another one of these and leave it for slow. This is the same block as you can find here, the if else block. And if you want to turn it back into an if block, just press this little minus button. Once you've finished coding, click the download button and follow the instructions that pop up here.
Then snap the pieces of the robot together. Insert the micro bit and turn it on.